I couldn't believe the price of this package set that Audi was selling it. So let's see how good it is, shall we? Now, big thank you to Robert who notified me last week about the golf set behind me because he made me aware that Audi was selling a package set for $49.99. I mean, that is basically giving it away. And I have a few questions because why were they selling it off at that price? Because it's not for the lack of exposure. So sadly, as I was checking the website last night, this is now sold out, which is relatively frustrating. So I think any time in the future that I'm gonna find a deal online that I think is outrageous value, I'm just gonna post a picture in the community page. So make sure to subscribe to the channel because any future outrageous steal of a deals that I do find, I think I'm just gonna post there rather than wait a week or so for it to turn up and then we make a video on it. But it doesn't stop there. Let's get this out, let's get it tested as I've got a few questions. How can this be sold at 49 99 are they losing money selling it at that kind of price because at the end of the day it wasn't always sold at that price so jacket on as you can see it's a very mild english winter's day and as you can see eight golf clubs in a bag 49.99 which begs the question surely they're losing money at that kind of price tag but they are sold out. But I don't think that's necessarily an issue as I've seen this happen over and over again. PXG is a great example of this, constantly bringing their prices down, which always has an effect on the secondhand market. Therefore, I see this set being a great thing to keep on your radar. As looking at just the bones of it, being an eight club set, not having a seven iron, not having a nine iron. And the other things that we're gonna talk about, there's gonna be quite a few of these going into the summer that people are looking to move on. And even 49 pounds 99 second hand is well, just outrageous value. That is definitely going to bounce straight out the back. Oh, luckily I had it so short. Let's finish on the green. <laughs> Now there are a few things that you can buy for £50 in this game of golf. A box of Pro V1s, for example, or an hour's lesson with myself, which brings me on to the sponsor of this video, me. Some of you guys might be aware I'm opening my first second-hand club fitting studio here in the UK. The first 100 people to buy a one-hour lesson voucher or second-hand club fitting voucher for myself is going to go on a plaque pride of place in the middle of the studio. Obviously, I need to afford expensive things such as a lovely desk, welcome mat, best golf coach, mug, the list goes on. And obviously, I'm funding this whole project by myself. So if that's something that you're looking to obviously get for yourself or maybe as a Christmas gift for someone else, email me at sasgolfacademy at gmail.com. My first par with a 50 pound set of golf clubs. Hilarious. We're at that time of year again where you can't tee anything in the ground. <laughs> now I watched Rick's and James's review on these golf clubs and both of them raised some pretty good points with them. And one of the things that stood out was, well, let's be honest, the build quality. The paint job, especially on the woods, isn't quite all there. But then it gets me wondering, at 50 pounds, what kind of set could you buy at retail? How many clubs could you actually get in there. This shaft can't cost more than a pound to make. The grip can't cost more than a pound to make. The head, two pounds to make. And when I look at this set purely for the basis of getting someone into golf, well, you don't want it to be good. It's going to get scratched. It's going to get duffed. Let's be honest, a top stealth driver is going to go as far as well a topped one of these. <laughs> I want to say I tried to top that on purpose. I didn't. But it gets me thinking at 50 pounds, it's the perfect price point for someone to start this game. If you were to play any other sport in this world, within reason, you're looking at a 50 pound pair of football boots. You're looking at a 50 pound tennis racket. And my first initial reaction with this set is, there's a pitching wedge and a sand wedge. You don't need both. There's a three wood and a hybrid. You don't need both. If anything, this could even be a six club set. Oh, she is gone. 
That is definitely made up for the top of the first. What would it take to bring a 50 pound golf set with a bag, some clubs to the market? I'd almost call it 120, i.e. try and break 120 with this 50 pound golf set. And if you're able to do that, then it's probably worthwhile upgrading to something more expensive. And because you spent the time to break 120 in the first place, well, you're probably gonna end up playing this game for a longer period of time. Because too often I see people start this game, put hundreds of pounds into it, and well, just give it up after six months. Understandably so, as we all do that when we try and find new hobbies. But how good would it be if you had the set, the 120 set, where you almost advertised it as a poor set? It has rubbish shafts, it has rubbish grips, but it still gives you the ability to play golf. How good would it be if you had a pros only tournament and everyone used the same 120 set. What scores could they actually shoot with some of the worst golf clubs, cheapest golf clubs on the market? I'd actually want to watch that. But it does fascinate me why Audi sold it at $49.99. You can even see it was sold at £99 at one point and then reduced even further. And it's not for the lack of exposure. This set has been seen by hundreds of thousands of people, which ultimately does say something about our community and potentially the brands behind it, is that if $49.99 was sold by a bigger name brand, these would have flown off the shelf. It would have never even got to the chance of being even £99 when they were first being sold around the £200 mark. She's gone. Not necessarily where I wanted it to though. Now some would think losing your Strix and Marathon Soft out of bounds in front of thousands of people is embarrassing and let's be honest, a bit of a loss. But then you find a Titleist Pro V1 while searching for it. Big win. This one's gonna be a low one. We're going bullet sting of this. Ah, nearly broke my finger. All right, come on you beauty. Oh, there we go. Now I know this price of these is outrageous when some cheeky scalpers already trying to sell these for 80, 90, 100 pounds on eBay. But to be honest, even at that price, these are still pretty good value. You're talking less than 10 pounds a club plus the bag. And the whole idea of this is to upgrade. You play with the irons, you play with the driver, maybe you get a second hand wedge to go in it, maybe you upgrade to the putter. And to be honest, it's just a great starting point for a lot of beginners to learn and play the game. Oh, that's better. See, Pro V1. That's why I went straight. Spend 50 quid on a box. Bullets. So Simon, what do you think of them? Well, at 49.99, I mean, it's just a given. If you can find a second-hand set for around that price or brand new set around 80 pounds and you've got someone that's thinking about the game, do them a favor, find them one of these because let's be honest, it gets you out on the golf course. The clubs are good enough. One thing I have found, the more I've tested these beginner package sets more and more, is that the better the player you are, the more you can get away with. And I'm not saying good players don't benefit from club fitted clubs, of course not, of course they do. If anything, they'll be able to dial their numbers in even more accurately, but I'd easily be able to break 80, 85 with this set around Sanford Springs on a hot summer's day, not when the greens are frozen. And then on the other side, a complete beginner isn't going to know any difference between this and something super expensive. But when you do gradually get better and you do need a tiny bit more help, you will outgrow these. There is no question about that. And that is why I'm so adamant on a low price point package set to start you off as you're not going to have it for all that long. So I guess my question to you guys, why do you think they sold them off so cheap? Surely you could just wait to next year. But then I guess they do take up quite a bit of space. You think one box is a meter and a bit long, 30 centimeters wide, and obviously storing them does take up a bit of space in the warehouse. But at $49.99, you're almost gifting it away, aren't you? That was ripped. And more than likely gonna bounce off the green into the distance. Oh, not actually that bad, delightful. Now, I did have a week back with a pretty compelling story asking if I have any spare clubs and pretty much this is the perfect set for that person to start in the game. Just want to get on the golf course, just for, well, something to do, a new hobby, just a great form of escapism. And to be honest, I'd love to see a lot more of these sets at that kind of price tag in the future to see if that's the case or not. Now guys, if you like this video, potentially you might like the Cobra package set that I got from Costco, which let's be honest, didn't end too well. 
Catch you guys then. Not only is this Audi's cheapest package set, I think it's ever seen. And it comes from that, that Audi was selling it.